a very exciting guest coming up. They're all exciting. We all came to know him uh, on American Idol many, many years ago, but that's been many years at this point, and he has an incredible career. We're so happy to have him here. Adam Lambert, hello Adam. Hey, hey, hey. You have a new album that dropped recently called Velvet. You had to postpone a tour. You were nominated for a Glad Media Award this year for Outstanding Music Artist. There's a docu-series on Apple TV. I believe it's called Visible. It takes you through the whole history of LGBTQ people on television and in film yeah. to a lesser extent. It's mainly about TV and I'm so glad because it's the first time at least I have heard you talk in detail about the experience of coming out of Idol as this on the verge of superstardom and everyone knocked out by your voice. And then your experience on the American Music Awards and you talk about it in detail where you like kissed a guy for three seconds on stage and like the industry went crazy the next day. You had to apologize. Now that wasn't that long ago, relatively speaking, right? Not really, not really. And that's the thing, like you tell the story to somebody now that might not have heard about it mm -hmm. and they're all shocked like what that, that right really yeah it's a, a lot has changed in 10 years a lot yeah, that was that was 2009 and I watched your interview on this series you had to navigate so much bullshit now that we're we're coming out and it's it's getting easier to be a queer openly LGBTQ or non-binary pop artist but you had to deal with shit not everyone had to deal with so how do you make peace with that? What are your thoughts on that? It led to certain things in my career that were great. Um, yeah. it, it definitely taught me a lot very quickly. It taught me what my boundaries were publicly. <laughs> when you were approached to tour with Queen and sing with them and, and you know step into Freddie Mercury's shoes, I mean, no one can really do that, but what was that like when you were approached for that and how has that experience been? It's been incredible. I mean, it's like a family with them. I think the thing that I realized very quickly was that if I got up there and tried to imitate Freddie, that would be a bad move. And Brian and Roger from the get-go said to me, look, we want this to be you. We want you to do what you do. Take your own liberties with these songs, interpret them at will. You have an amazing foundation uh, and you're partnering up with Glad on something very special during this very bizarre, uncertain time, as they say. Tell us about that. For years now, I, I do these performances and you wear something on stage and it sits in your closet. And I thought, why don't we do an auction of, of these stage pieces, these costumes and these fashion items. And so I'm partnering with eBay to launch this online auction. All the proceeds from the auction will go directly to GLAD, which we're very excited about. I wanted to do something now to, to raise funds and to give to the community through GLAD. That is such an amazing idea. I can only imagine your closet is full of some a very eclectic mix. Adam, thank you for being you. Uh, thank you. And thank you for sludging through uh, <laughs> a very homophobic music industry, uh, <laughs> especially when uh, guys like you and I were uh, starting out. Thank you for being here. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much. I appreciate Bye, it. Good talking to you, good seeing you.